Hello students. Welcome to my channel Learning History Made Easy. In today's video, I will be explaining about the Battle of Talikote. Before going into the video, if anyone is seeing the channel for the first time or if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also click the bell button to receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. So without wasting time, let us get into the video. So today's video, we will be seeing about a very important battle in the history of Vijayanagara Empire that is the Battle of Talikote. One of the most important battle in the history of Vijayanagara Empire is the Battle of Talikote. The battle was fought in 1565 century era. So we are going to see about the details of the battle of Talikote. This was an important battle in the history of Vijayanagara Empire and it is said that this battle was fought in a range of 40 kilometers. So this battle was fought in a range of 40 kilometers. So considering the uh, Vijayanagara history, this is one of the most important battle and it was fought in a range of 40 kilometers. It was fought between the villages. So there was two villages. The villages uh, names were Rakkasagi, Rakkasagi and Tangadagi. So two villages were there. These two villages were near to Talikote. Two villages near to Talikote and this battle was fought between the two villages Rakkasagi and Tangadagi. It started as a battle between two villages and since these two villages were near Talikote, it was named as the Battle of Talikote. And it is also called, this Battle of Talikote is also called as the Battle of Banihati. It is also called as the Battle of Banihati as this battle was uh, fought in the Krishna Banihati region. So this was fought uh, near to the Krishna Banihati region and that is why it is also called as the Battle of Banihati. So it is also called as Battle of Banihati as some scholars believe that it was fought at Krishna Banihati. So that is about uh, the Battle of Talikote introduction. Now the leader of Vijayanagara troops in this battle was Aliya Ramaraya. Aliya Ramaraya sorry the battle of Vijayanagara troops in the battle of uh, Talikote was Aliya Ramaraya. So Vijayanagara troops led by Aliya Ramaraya. So once more whatever points we have learned I will just tell the battle of Talikote fought in 1565 century era was one of the most important battle in the history of Vijayanagara empire. It was fought in a range of 40 kilometers. It was fought between the villages of Rakkasagi and Tangadagi near Talikote and hence it is named as Battle of Talikote. Some scholars uh, call it as Battle of Banihati because they believe that it was fought at Krishna Banihati. Now the leader of Vijayanagara troops was Aliya Ramaraya. So on one side the leader of Vijayanagara troops was Aliya Ramaraya and on the opposite side on the opposite side there was a group of um, there was a coalition there was a group of people that is a coalition army coalition army that is a number of people joined together as a coalition so there was a coalition army and the coalition army consisted of which all groups so that is what we are going to learn the coalition army consisted of first is Shahi Sultans the first group in coalition army was Shahi Sultans and in this Shahi Sultans it consisted of Adil Shahis of Bijapura Adil Shahis of Bijapura 
then Nizam Shahis of Ahmad Nagar, second was Nizam Shahis of Ahmad Nagar, that was the second group in the coalition army, Kutub Shahis of Golconda, Kutub Shahis of Golconda, and Barid Shahis of Bidar. The last group was Barid Shahis of Bidar. So this was the coalition army which fought against the Vijayanagara troops. So uh, opposite side coalition army and the other side Vijayanagara troops, Vijayanagara troop led by uh, Aliya Ramaraya. Aliya Ramaraya. So this was the two groups who fought the battle of Talikote. So on the opposite side there was a coalition army consisting of Shahi Sultans and Shahi Sultans consisted of Adil Shahis of Bijapura, Nizam Shahis of Ahmadnagar, Kutub Shahis of Golconda and Barit Shahis of Bidar. And on the opposite side uh, there was the Vijayanagara troops consisting of Aliya Ramaraya. So these were the two groups fighting the battle of Talikote. Now let us see what were the causes for the battle of Talikote. What was the main reasons for the battle of Talikote. So let us see the causes. So the first cause for the battle of Talikote was the supremacy over the Dobe region. Supremacy over the Dobe region was the first cause for the battle. So first we have to understand what is a Dobe region. The Dobe region is basically fertile area between two rivers. The most fertile area between two rivers is called as Dobe region. So now in this case they were, there was a fight for supremacy over the Dobe region of Krishna and Tungabhadra. So the two rivers here is Krishna and Tungabhadra, Tungabhadra, the area between Krishna and Tungabhadra was very fertile and there was a fight for supremacy between the Vijayanagaras and the Shahi Sultans because both of them wanted to control this Dob area. So that was the first reason for the uh, battle of Talikote. So the fertile region between Krishna and Tungabhadra became the reason for the fight between uh, the two powers and that was the first reason for battle of Talikote. Okay? So both of them wanted to have supremacy over the Dobe region that is a fertile area between Krishna and Tungabhadra. Now the second reason for the battle of Talikote is religious differences. Religious differences was the second reason for the fight between uh, fight, uh, second reason for the battle of Talikote. So here we know that battle of Talikote, the two groups, one group is Vijayanagara. Vijayanagara groups are basically uh, Hindus and on the opposite side we have Shahi Sultan, Shahi Sultans who were Muslims. Okay, so both of them had religious differences. Naturally, there was a fight between Hindus and Muslims. Religious differences was there and this was the second cause for the battle of Talikote. So the first cause, supremacy over Dobe region. Dobe region is a fertile area between two rivers. Here we are speaking about the Krishna Tungabhadra region. Both Vijayanagara and Shahi Sultan wanted this uh, Dobe region and that became the reason for the war. Second reason is religious difference. The Vijayanagara Sultans were Hindus and Shahi Sultans were Muslims. The religious and cultural difference between them was the second cause for the battle. Now let us move on to the third cause for the battle of Talikote. So the third cause is third cause is the policy of Aliya Ramaraya. Policy of Aliya Ramaraya. That was the third cause for the battle of Talikote policy of Aliya Ramaraya. 
Now we know that the Vijayanagara troops were was read by uh, led by Aliya Ramaraya. Now who is Ramaraya? Ramaraya belonged to Aravidu dynasty, Aravidu family, and he married the daughter of Krishna Devaraya. So Ramaraya married the daughter of Krishna Devaraya, daughter of Krishna Devaraya. Devaraya. So naturally he was the son-in-law of Krishna Devaraya. That is why he is called as Aliya Ramaraya. So Ramaraya is the son-in-law of Krishna Devaraya. He married the daughter of Krishna Devaraya. But the problem was that what was his policy? What was his problem? He interfered in the internal disputes of uh, the Shahi Sultans. So he interfered in the internal disputes internal disputes or fights disputes of shahi sultans shahi sultans so we know that the shahi sultans uh, were a coalition there was a group of uh, people in the shahi sultans and um, uh, they were a group who fought against Krish uh, aliya ramaraya so this Shahi Sultans, that is Adil Shahis of Bijapura, Nizam Shahis of Ahmadnagar, Kutub Shahis of Golconda and Barit Shahis of Bidar, they had some internal problems. All the Shahi Sultans had some internal problems. And what Ramaraya did, Ramaraya went and interfered in the internal disputes of Shahi Sultans. And one more thing he did, he followed a policy of divide and rule. Ramaraya, he followed a policy of divide and rule. Policy of divide and rule with the Shahis of Bijapura and Ahmadnagar. So when the Shahi Sultans understood that Ramaraya was trying to divide them. He was trying to follow a policy of divide and rule. He was trying to divide them. When the Shahis understood this, what they did, the Shahis forgot their enmity, forgot their enmity and they united to fight against Krishna Devaraya, oh, sorry, uh, Aliya Ramaraya. So they forgot their enmity and what they did, they united through some matrimonial relations and all those things and they formed the Shahi Confederacy, that is they formed the coalition. Whatever we have studied before, they formed the coalition and they fought against the Vijayanagara. So this is what happened. So the Shahis came to fight against Vijayanagara because of the policy of Aliya Ramaraya. Why? Ram, so Ramaraya was uh, from Aravidu family and he married the daughter of Krishna Devaraya. So he was a son-in-law of Krishna Devaraya. There were some internal disputes between Shahi Sultans and Ramaraya interfered in these internal disputes. Ramaraya also tried to divide and rule the Shahis. When Shahis understood this, they forgot their enmity and they united and they formed coalition. The grand coalition they formed that is Bijapura, Ahmadnagar, Golconda and Bidar, they all joined together and they fought against the Vijayanagara. So that was the third cause for the battle of Talikote that is policy of Aliya Ramaraya. Now till now whatever points we have studied, just let us revise once. The battle of Talikote, 1565 century era. This was an important battle in the history of Vijayanagara empire and was fought in a range of 40 km. It was fought between the villages of Rakkasagi and Tangadagi near Talikote. Hence it is called the battle of Talikote. It is also called as the Battle of Baniati as some scholars believe that it was fought at Krishna Baniati. Aliya Ramaraya was the leader of Vijayanagara troops. On the opposite side was the coalition army of Shahi Sultans consisting of Adil Shahis of Bijapura, Nizam Shahis of Ahmadnagar, Kutub Shahis of Golconda and Barit Shahis of Bidar. Now seeing the causes for the battle, first cause supremacy over the Dobe region. The fertile region between the rivers Krishna and Tungabhadra became the reason for contend between the two powers. This became a reason for the battle. Religious differences. 
religious and cultural differences between the Vijayanagara and Shahi Sultan became another cause for the battle. The Policy of Aliya Ramaraya Ramaraya of Aravidu family married the daughter of Krishna Devaraya. He interfered in the internal disputes of the Shahis. He also followed the policy of divide and rule with the Shahis of Bijapura and Ahmadnagar. The Shahis forgot their enmity and united through various alliances and matrimonial relations and they formed the grand Shahi confederacy consisting of Bijapura, Ahmadnagar, Golconda and Bida. So now let us move on to the uh, next cause. The next is an immediate cause. There was an immediate cause for the uh, battle of Thalikote. That is the fourth one, immediate cause. So what was the immediate cause for the battle of Thalikote? Adil Shahis of Bijapura, the Adil Shahis of Bijapura, Bijapura, they demanded the return of Raichur fort. Okay, they wanted or they demanded uh, the return of Raichur fort. They wanted the Raichur fort back. They asked Aliya Ramaraya to give back the Raichur fort. But as soon as Adil Shahis asked the Raichur fort, Ramaraya he refused. Ramaraya said that we are not going to give back the fort and he also said, them, said to the Adil Shahis that if you want you can take it in the battlefield. Take it in the battlefield. So it was like a challenge to the Adil Shahis. Ramaraya challenged them that I am not going to give back Raichur fort. If you want you can take it in the battlefield and this became the immediate cause for the battle of Talikote. It was a challenge for the Adil Shahis so they had to fight the war. So the immediate cause Adil Shahis of Bijapura demanded the return of Raichur fort. Ramaraya refused to give it and he said, them, said the Adil Shahis to take it in the battlefield. He challenged them. So that became the immediate cause for the battle. So these were the four main causes for the battle of Talikote. That is, uh, if we see the different causes for the battle of Talikote, the first cause will be the supremacy over Dobe region, uh, religious differences, policy of Aliya Ramaraya and the immediate cause. Now let us see what happened or what was the course of the war. That means what happened during the war, how did the war take place. The battle was fought, the battle of Talikote, it was fought on Tuesday 23rd January 1565 century era. So the battle of Talikote was fought on Tuesday 23rd January 1565 century era and Aliya Ramaraya who was uh, leading the Vijayanagara troops it is said that he was very old uh, during that time Aliya Ramaraya he was very old but it is said that he fought very bravely in the war he fought very bravely against Adil Shahis in the beginning and all Vijayanagara was having a little upper hand but Finally, Aliya Ramaraya was captured. He was captured by the Adil Shahis, by Shahi soldiers. That is, uh, Shahi soldiers captured Aliya Ramaraya and it is said that he was beheaded. Beheaded means his head was cut off. And it is also said that beheaded and his head was, uh, head was paraded that is they took uh, the head of Aliya Ramaraya and paraded it in the uh, paraded in the battlefield they took his head and paraded it in the battlefield so seeing this Vijayanagara soldiers were panicked and they were frightened the Vijayanagara soldiers Nagara soldiers were in panic. Why? Because their leader, their leader's head is cut off and it was paraded in the battlefield. So the soldiers were panicked and they ran away from the battlefield. The soldiers without a leader, they uh, ran away from the battlefield. So that was what happened in the 
um, battle of Talikote that is uh, it was fought on 23rd January 1565 century era. Aliya Ramaraya was very old but he fought the battle very bravely. But he was captured by the Shahi soldiers, he was beheaded and the head was paraded in the battlefield. Seeing this it created panic among the Vijayanagara soldiers and they ran away from the battlefield. So once the Vijayanagara soldiers ran away from the battlefield, naturally Shahi Sultans won the battle. Shahi Sultans were the winners, they won the battle. And this battle uh, was very important in the history of South India. It is said that this was the battle which started and ended on the same day. That is, it came to an end came to an end within one day within one day that is uh, January 23rd 1565 that one day only the battle was fought it came to an end within one day that is why this battle is very important in the history of South India the Shahi Sultans won the battle and this battle was a special battle which came to end within one day in the history of South India so this was uh, how the battle of Talikote was fought or it was the course of the battle. Now the final thing we saw the causes, we saw the course. Now we should see the results of the battle. What was the results of the battle of Talikote? The first result was the Vijayanagara Empire lost its glory. Vijayanagara Empire empire they lost in the battle and they lost its glory and Shahi Sultans looted the city of Vijayanagara the Vijayanagara empire was looted by Shahi Sultans because Shahi Sultans won and they looted the city of Vijayanagara and Vijayanagara empire lost its glory that was the first result of the battle of Talikote if we see the second result the Portuguese, the Portuguese were restricted, restricted to Goa region, Goa region. See in the last video we have seen that once in a fight the Portuguese had helped the Vijayanagara rulers and in return for that the Vijayanagara king Krishna Devaraya had given a special permission to the Portuguese for trading. But now when the Vijayanagara uh, lost its glory, they were defeated. The Shahi Sultans told the Portuguese can do only trade in Goa, Goa region only. And uh, this was a problem for the trade of Portuguese. So Portuguese trade suffered because of this. Because when Vijayanagaras were ruling, they were given special permission. But when Shahi Sultans came to power, they restricted Portuguese only to Goa region. And because of this, the trade suffered. Now the third result was the religious endowments, religious endowments or uh, the kind of sub religious support or financial support or donations which were given to places like Sringeri uh, or uh, Tirupati, Tirupati, uh, Sri Shaila etc were stopped by the Shahi Sultans. See you know that Shahi Sultans were Muslim rulers. So whatever religious endowments or donations or support which the Vijayanagara rulers were giving to temples like Sringeri, Tirupati, Sri Shaila etc all those religious support was stopped by the Shahi Sultans. So that also was another result of the battle of Talikote. So the first result Vijayanagara Empire lost its glory and Vijayanagara was completely looted by Shahi Sultans. Second, the Portuguese were restricted to Goa region without the support of Vijayanagara and this was a setback for the trade. The third result, the religious support donations and endowments given to temples like Sringeri, Tirupati etc. were stopped uh, by the Shahi Sultans. That also was another result of the battle of Talikote. 
Now the fourth result of Battle of Talikote, the Aravidu dynasty, you know Aliya Ramaraya belonged to Aravidu dynasty. So the Aravidu dynasty was unable to gain control over South India, unable to gain control over South India because they were completely defeated. So they were unable to gain control over South India, that is they were completely defeated. So that also was another uh, result of the battle of Talikote that is the Aravidu dynasty uh, to which Aliya Ramaraya belonged to they were unable to gain control over South India. Now the last result was the feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire. The Vijayanagara Empire had many feudatories. The feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire Vijayanagara Empire, what they did, that is, they all uh, became independent because Vijayanagara Empire was completely defeated, it lost its glory. So, all the feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire became independent. They became, all the feudatories became independent, and the feudatories, uh, examples, the feudatories like uh, Nayakas, Nayakas was one of the feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire and Palegars, Palegars were also a feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire. So the feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire like Nayakas and Palegars, they became independent and when, they, when all the feudatories became independent, it led to the disintegration of Vijayanagara Empire. So the Vijayanagara Empire completely disintegrated Vijayanagara Empire. So the Battle of Talikote led to the disintegration of Vijayanagara Empire. We can conclude like that. So it led to the disintegration of Vijayanagara Empire. So the fourth uh, result was the Aravidu dynasty was unable to gain control over South India and the uh, fifth result was the feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire like Nayakas and Palegars. They declared their independence and this led to the disintegration of Vijayanagara Empire. So all these were the results of the battle of Talikote. Now let us just see the points which we have studied. The immediate cause was the Adil Shahis of Bijapura demanded the return of Raichur fort from Aliya Ramaraya. Ramaraya refused and asked the Sultan to take it in the battlefield. This became the immediate cause for the battle. Now the course of the battle. This battle was fought on Tuesday 23rd January 1565 century era. Aliya Ramaraya who was very old fought bravely in the battle and Vijayanagara forces gained upper hand in the beginning. But Ramaraya was captured by the Shahi soldiers and was beheaded and his head was paraded in the battlefield. This created panic among the Vijayanagara soldiers. They ran away from the battlefield and Shahi sultans won the battle. This battle in the history of South India came to an end within one day. Now the results, the Vijayanagara Empire lost its glory and the Shahi army looted the city of Vijayanagara. The Portuguese were restricted to Goa region without the support of Vijayanagara and this was a setback to their trade. Religious endowments to centers like Sringeri, Tirupati, Sri Shaila and Kalasthi were stopped. Aravidu dynasty was unable to gain control over the region of South India. The feudatories of Vijayanagara Empire like Nayakas and Palegars became independent and this led to the disintegration of Vijayanagara Empire. So now let us see uh, only one important question is there which I have to give here that is what were the causes and results of battle of Talikote the answer is uh, clearly explained in the video all the causes and results with explanation you have to write for this answer so I hope you have understood all the points regarding battle of Talikote very clearly if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section and if you have liked the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel your likes and comments will be of a great encouragement for me to make more and more videos. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.